So hello guys, this is ADO, Adiflex, and now we're going to tackle about using OBS on Zoom video conferencing. So before we start or tackle our video, I hope you subscribe to my YouTube channel and occasionally I'm doing stream on YouTube, Twitch, or Facebook. If you have some questions regarding this video or other stuff about using OBS, I'm happy to assist you while I'm streaming. So here we go and let's go check out my video. So using OBS uh, 28.0.3 updated last October 1st and using zoom conferencing so how how can you manage to do this so we need some things first or we need installations installations so you need to install of course obs or if you want to you can install also your zoom client client uh, app application and we need two more couple of items to to install for example you need a virtual audio cable so search search it virtual audio cable then bb audio virtual apps download it your windows or your mac os and the second one is the audio monitor for OBS plugin. So search it audio monitor OBS, then audio monitor. Then once you're on the site, download it and choose what OS you are using Mac OS or Windows. Why wish we should need this? Because right now, OBS Studio 28, there's a compatibility issue. For example, what I've been using is the OBS and NDI solution. But for now, since it is in progress, still in progress, so I find ways to, to use another stop or another process for do this. No? So if, you, if you're... Still not using Studio OBS Studio 28 and still using the bus uh, version like 27. You can check out the my video for that. And for example, you already installed your OBS and your Zoom. So we're going right in into your OBS. So in your OBS, once you install it, there will there will a prompt message about auto configuration wizard, and you will choose. I will all be be using for the virtual camera. So next that and apply the settings, and you're good to go. Then, of course, this is my just a scene for me, no, but uh, for a newly installed OBS there's only one scene for you so I separate all my scene for audio mic videos camera and the live one so for the OBS so for your camera no? so for your camera Oh, I need to join into the zoom so wait a sec and I will join to someone zoom okay I've already joined into my zoom meeting and for the video part is the very easiest part you can do on your zoom virtual camera so for example you want to to output all your sources or what you are seeing on your frame in your OBS studio 
You need some... For example, on your videos, you will need to display the capture of your monitor too. So, for this, you need to start your virtual camera. So, when started, go to your Zoom. Choose your OBS virtual camera. Or, you can check it on your video settings if it is working if it's not working if you stop this obs logo will appear so if you start it again you can see you can see on the screen the display capture for the obs part so it's very easy it's the easiest part of the obs but now here's the tricky part it's the og part yes yes it is so if you're going to start that that's what happened <laughs> so for your ojo settings First, you need to, for your microphone, choose the cable output. This is... This is... One of the Beefy Audio software you downloaded or and installed in your... So, um, in your computer. Then... The next thing is set up your audio or your mic in your OBS. So choose your audio input capture. Let's say this is your microphone. And you need to choose the microphone you're going to choose. I'm gonna choose this. So Will this be inputted in your in your zoom yet? Not yet. We need to still to do one thing. Going to choose your filters. And this is where the audio monitor plugin uh appear now. We need to use this. So choose the device. Go to the cable input. So cable input. And I want to choose that. Oh. Mm. So when you do that. Let's test it. Now there's an input on your audio. But once you remove this, once oh oh they're still there. Once you remove the filter for your audio monitor. Let's test it. No no response. No input and output. So you need the audio monitor cable input so there will be an output on your zoom so for your if you unmute this I the participant will hear you so if you the good thing about this is you can do some about let's try some gain and this will be inputted in your audio so there will be effects on your OBS
So if you want some um, camera, I'm going to go back here and mute myself because I can hear myself. So for example, uh, this is your video of, or for example, you want some presentation here. <coughs> like you have some kind of video presentation you can either choose your media source or vlc video source if you if you have vlc application installed in your computer for example if none you can choose the media source choose the file you want to to choose and for example i will choose this Mm, it's not fitted. Control F. So, for example, you want your audio, your video is also inputted in your. So, for example, uh, you have a media source, a video. This will not be inputted in your. in your audio Wait. still not inputted in my audio what ha oh but i want this to be monitored okay so for example filters um, there we go filter this cable output and there you go the people on the zoom can hear your video loud and clear I can hear it. Oh, nice. So I can hear it on my audio, on my audio, and then you can hear it in my, in your Zoom, Zoom meeting. So that's the case. So if you want to. To get the scene from the videos in the audio to be your this is like your live live one scene get your audio and get your output mm. oh, no get your scene scene the videos then i have my microphone and my media source
and for example i want like the studio then i want to delete this and media and the spread then if i want to another live live camera you have your scene no not share scene audio of course the audio mic scene camera that's it but i don't have my camera right now so that's it that's how you import your zoom meeting in your obs studio for your video and uh mic input and output in your video output so thank you for watching and for more video like this if you subscribe the channel and like the my video share it to your zoom friends and also follow me on my streaming site streaming channels if you have question or you can comment your question below the video and see you on the next show bye bye